Welcome to the East Park Animal Education Centre Enrichment Challenge. My name's Susie and I'm going to take you through this challenge step by step. Um, animal enrichment is really crucial to maintaining a really good physical mental health in our animals. Um, we do this by providing different ways of feeding, them utilising their habitat and just really getting them to work a little bit harder like they would in the wild. So to do this, we need to really take a good closer look at the animals we're wanting to provide enrichment for. We need to investigate what they eat, how they move in their habitat, how they feed. So let's go and take a look at some examples of, of some enrichment devices and how we can encourage the display of natural behaviours here in the zoo environment. So here we are at our goat's paddock. Um, we provide a variety of enrichment for the goats here, um, from browse, so the huge branches of, uh, of leaves for them, because that makes up the bulk of their diet. And it's a really good way of encouraging them to feed in a more natural way than just out of a bowl. Um, we also provide forage boxes for them, so we can hide their food inside and they've got to work a little bit harder to get to it. Um, they like to headbutt it around as well, which is an, an, uh, another behavior that you'll see them uh, do in the wild as well. Um, and I don't know if you can see behind me, but we've also got some large broom handles fixed to the fence posts. In the winter, they, they form this really thick, dense fur coat. And in the summer, they just like to scratch it away. So it just gives them another opportunity to, to really loosen that up and get comfortable for the summer months. So it's been about half an hour since we popped this forage box here in with the goats. As you can see by the browse here, they've completely and utterly just demolished it. It was absolutely full to the broom of leaves earlier on. but. They haven't managed to get into their browse box. Now, I made it a bit complicated than we usually would provide by closing these flaps here. I think that might be a bit too tricky for them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and uh, expose the extra leaves and the grasses and buttercups in there for them. And then hopefully they'll pop along and enjoy it a little bit later on. So in the meantime, whilst hopefully this piques their interest a bit more, we'll move on to the marmosets. So here we are now at our common marmosets. Um, we've got Louis and Dunstan here, so let's go and investigate the kind of enrichment we would provide for them. So common marmosets feed in a variety of different ways in the rainforests. Um, they eat fruits, nuts. They also uh, gouge out the bark from trees to get to the sweet uh, gums underneath. So we have a gum feeder. We have um, a bird feeder come seed feeder for them where they have to get their little hands in and just spend a little more time picking out their favourite food items and we also have a basket feeder as well so again they have to use their balance to gain access to that basket and get the food out. So now we've seen how the marmosets feed and the kind of enrichment devices we provide for them let's go and take a look at a larger primate species our ring-tailed lemur. For the lemurs today, we have um, a puzzle feeder filled with browse for them. So they've got to really kind of, they can spend the time grazing, uh, picking the leaves off, chewing the branches and things like that. And we also have some large chunks of fruit on a kebab stick. So we're going to hang that up. It just means that they don't, they can't just pick it up and eat it. They've got to really work, get the teeth in there and use their hands to, to get to the food. And we also have uh, we have a puzzle feeder here, so it's filled with nuts, seeds, mealworms. It's got holes in the end. So, as you can imagine, this is going to hang from a branch and they have to tip it to get the food out. So we'll hang that above a shelf so they've got somewhere safe for the food to land onto. But they've got to really solve that puzzle to get to the tasty treats. So now you've seen some examples of the enrichment we provide to our animals. We've seen the goats, the lemurs and the marmosets. It's now your turn to get creative. I've provided an activity pack to your teachers which gives some examples of the kinds of things you can design yourself. Um, there are forage boxes, puzzle feeders and some rope ladders as well to, to build in there. Um, so it's, it's over to you now. You need to go away, research the animal you want to build an enrichment device for. Uh, find out where they live, how they feed, what they feed on um, and get to the drawing board. You can either design it on paper, build it yourself and we can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs>